Accelerated the pandemic. We will meet again. Hi, I'm Helen from the Scummy Mummies, and together with Ellie Gibson, we are with the Evening Standard to answer your questions about parenting in lockdown. I mean, it is difficult, isn't it? I think I think the important thing is if you can try to stay calm yourself and just sit with them, be with them, breathe with them, and just say, "Look, for God's sake, please calm down. The kids are going to hear you. You're driving me mental." Now, look, tantrums are completely normal and completely fine during lockdown. It's it's, it's actually expected because it's a period of stress and anxiety. And I would say. Try and remain calm at all times. If you need to, go and scream into a pillow or just shout into the abyss. Um, bribery is fine. Biscuits, sugar, whatever it takes. It is all about survival now and being kind to yourself. Yeah, if, if that doesn't work, I think one of the best techniques I've found for dealing with tantrums is really just to hide in the toilet looking at your phone uh, until they've stopped making that noise. That seems to work quite well. One thing is my husband's doing most of the homeschooling in our house because we're incredibly modern. And um, he's in, he's brought in a sort of reward system where if the kids do really well at school, if they do a nice piece of work or whatever, put in a lot of effort, they get a gold star. Um, and if they do something badly, uh, they get a poo, which, you know, doesn't lend him a huge air of authority because they just think it's hilarious and they sort of like doing bad things just to make him... Uh, in a position where he has to say the word poo. So I'm not saying that's the best strategy, but frankly, at this point, it's all we've got. The main thing is bribery. That is that if you do your homework, you get screen time or you get to eat all the Haribo until you're sick. Um, I think you have to be kind to yourself. I know these are tough times and you don't have to replicate the school classroom in your house. For one thing, the school classroom doesn't have washing hanging everywhere and it doesn't look like a tip like my house. So just be kind. I found in our house that rules kind of do work if they're sort of set and that everyone understands what they are. Um, for example, uh, we have a rule that we have no Monday to Friday. There is no screen time in the mornings. Um, and they've sort of accepted that now just as the law rather than what it really is, of course, which is just an arbitrary decision. But they seem to have accepted that. And that means that we don't have to have that row every morning. Um, we just, you know, we have it after school, which is nice. I would say have a few little rules in place. Like in my house, we say no screens in the toilet, no screens on the trampoline, uh, no screens at the dinner table, and maybe don't take it to the park. Things like that. Just and maybe just restrict screen time between, uh, I don't know, eight to ten hours a day. And then I think that's the real balance. That's um, that's what's going to get you through. Mm, this is a very tricky one. We're still doing the Joe Wicks PE in this house. Uh, not all of us are enjoying it very much, but uh, again, it's just, it's the law. That's what we're doing. Uh, I found quite a good tip uh, to make them move around a bit is to just hide sweets around the house. Now you could argue this sort of defeats the object. You know, you're, you're being active, so you're being fit and healthy, but then you're rewarded with sugar. But I say, don't know what else to do, mate. It's a crazy time. Of course, one of the things that I really appreciate that my kids do is martial arts um, on each other or to put it another way, just fighting and kicking each other. So that's a good way of them keeping active. But also I found if you want to keep them active, hide the remote in different places in the house and get them to run around. I find it motivates them quite well. You're welcome. Now, I sort of know this one because I, um, obviously my kids are a bit older, but my sister-in-law, she's just had a baby three weeks ago, a lovely baby called Thomas. Um, and as I understand it, she's getting, she's still getting phone calls from the health visitor. Um, so she's finding that quite reassuring, I think. I think it might depend on when you live as well and all of that. But I do know um, one of my best mates is a health visitor and I know that they're doing all they can to support women and dads um, to help us through this time. So that's good news, isn't it? Um, love a health visitor. They're great. Having said that, one did once tell me that if I drank fizzy drinks, it would make my breast milk fizzy. So, you know. Well, good news, you can still access them, but it is going to be online and a one-to-one -one system. So you just need to contact your local doctor, surgery or health service and they'll be able to connect you. And good luck. You're doing your best and we all are and it's not going to be perfect. We're not proper teachers. Um, you know, some of us aren't even proper adults, quite honestly. But... This is a different time and, you know, as long as I think the kids are happy 
um, for at least some of the time. I think that's really all we can ask of ourselves, isn't it? So cheers, good luck, you'll need it. Please do follow us at Scummy Mummies on social media and scummymummies.com. Cheers! <laughs>